Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. Sad to see Sigrun's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mimir, if you want to take a tour of her kingdom, you might not like everything you find. So, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there <laughs> certainly are. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer.
behind you, Kratos! Over there. Well done. <laughs> Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. I can't do this. Oh, my mirror. Look, the other half of the key. I knew those key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. Oh, God. 
Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrid and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrid and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. Speaking of your brother after he was burned by the Aesir mob. Yes. It haunted him for a long time. Hold. The wolves are distracted. <laughs> I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. <laughs> we need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze.
did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Stronger this time. Over here. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
Yet. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> Seems he was guarding that way outside. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Counselor to kings, Mary Wanderer of the woods, 
Robin of the good fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemire. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Well, chill it. You all right? It's vulnerable when it glows! Hold in! Attack! Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. <laughs> the Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead.
there's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! Official. Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Let me Sigrun? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. No! 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 You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You suck me! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a damn until you turned on you! I know, Secret. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Krola? Or to Tanya? No! You! Side of the power you Brother, watch out. There's more of them. Even now, you see a hell of an angel and call him brother. And who you always be? Who you are? And it's who you are. It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why do you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared! Why won't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Oh! 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 Oh!
We passed the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to... Oh. There were the hippocamps. They served a sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their... Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek, to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. 
The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Could not let him go, because he thirsted for revenge, and because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point.
up there. want to get out of here. Passage is gone. No one's covering their tracks already. Hmm. To the sled then. were missing these, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is your nature. Well played, Norns. 